this fancy thing, our new sled, our new old sled, our new M8 in good shape. This is my sled for the season. Something I can finally do my own thing to, set it up and configure it the exact way I want it. So I'm gonna just do a quick walkthrough and show you what's already been done to this sled. So it has SA skis, it is on the old front end. I haven't decided if I'm gonna upgrade that, might just leave it. Uh, we got vent kits here and also on the other side here just to help the engine uh, cool down a little better. Not, uh, not too bad, helps out a little bit. Also here, so here's a common complaint, it is loose steering on these M's. So this is a kit, it also comes with, I'll just rip this out and show you, this steering post uh, for your lower steering post, that bushing too, and it makes it a whole lot tighter. So there's always going to be a little bit of play, especially in these adjustable steering post kits. Uh, there's always going to be a little play in them, but this makes it a lot better, and you can see that. Uh, they're always going to have play, but this barely has any in it. Really good bushing kit right here. So it's got that tunnel bag. Uh, it's got the mountain addiction rack. Of course, that's one of the, the things I like to promote because I really like that kit. What else we got going on on this thing? Uh, I just put on my Jaws exhaust last night. And we got a bunch of accessories tied up there. I think when a lot of people get their new sleds, they tend to think, Okay, what accessories can I put on this thing? What can I put on it to make it better? I have a different mentality. It's like, what when I get the sled, it comes into my garage, and we have this new, uh, well, not new, not brand new, this new white M8, white and black M8 sitting here. So one more to add to the fleet. But I think, as soon as it gets in the garage, what can I take off this thing? Because I, for me, it's more about what I can take off my sled to make it different. And it's not all about saving weight. Like, you, you guys all know how I feel about this stupid thing. So when that gets in, this is the first thing to go. And the second thing to go for me is always this heavy guy right here. So that comes out. And now I have a little more areas that I can sneak a little bit more storage in spaces, uh, especially on the exhaust side. So I'll show you that. So I've got my exhaust off and I have this Jaws can on here. And you can see now that I have a Jaws can on there, I have a whole bunch of room for more storage. So here's where I always put my belt. It's just one less thing that I have to carry with me on my pack or uh, on the tunnel of the sled. So a belt goes in here because it's not every day I need to access it. So it's fine sitting in there. So in addition to having my spare belt on this side, I'm actually going to do something else too. I got my tow rope here, which usually sits in my pack or my tunnel bag or my backpack and doesn't really take up a whole lot of room but can be a little heavy and that's one more thing I don't want to store in my seat so I'm gonna zip tie this up and I'm gonna also stick it right in here beside my belt I'm just gonna take that zip tie it right up with my spare belt because it's not something I'm looking for all the time it's not something I'm using every day, so I don't need to be able to access it in a pinch. But at the same time, I don't want it sitting around in my pack or uh, sitting in my backpack or anything like that, because it's not something I'm using all the time. There you go. I just saved some space in my kit. Now you might say, you don't want to do that. It gets hot in there. It gets hot in the exhaust side. And absolutely it gets hot in the exhaust side. So make sure it's tied up right and not rubbing right on your exhaust. And don't come whining to me if your zip tie came undone and you end up melting your belt or your uh, anything else that you're going to put in there. Don't put anything in there that's going to be super sensitive to the heat. But for the amount that I actually need a tow rope, which is maybe once or twice a season, if that, go whole seasons without needing a spare belt, I go whole seasons without needing a tow rope, so it can just sit in there and it's always there when I need it and it's not taking up space in my pack. So that's perfect for me. And I did that by taking out exhaust and I made more space somewhere else and now I got more space for a little more storage. And a lot of people don't think of that. These M's, they don't actually have any space to store a spare belt. There isn't extra room for that. So that's where I like to put it. So let's do a few more things with this sled to make it my own. You guys know how much I love to take stuff off. And there's a few things on this sled that uh, are coming off in addition to the snow flap and the exhaust. Just a little bit more 
flavor, I guess, just to make it my own. And I'm gonna show you what they are right now. So, we're gonna start by doing this. Accessory bag. Bye bye. We got, uh, we got other accessory bags we wanna put on there. I don't like that one, it's ugly. There. That's how I feel about that thing. Everybody knows how I feel about snow flaps. Headlights are gonna stay in for now. Uh, there's the one thing on this slide. I like, I like the clean look of slides. No decals, any of that crap. I like the fading in the front and that's all deckled. So I'm actually going to leave it on this one, but, uh, the decal in the back doesn't quite look right to me. And it's also the faded decal with the 162, 8,000 logo. Uh, we're going to, though I am in support of that. It's also going to be coming off. Same with this side, decals are coming off of this thing. I don't like decals generally. If this was any other sled, I'd be taking off the decals on the front end too, but I like the decals on this one because they're very, very simple for the most part. Um, they're not, it's not a busy sled. I don't really like, I like a clean look. I like a nice clean cut look. So that decal is coming off right now. Those look all kicked up. Let's get rid of them. So, have the decals off of it on both sides now. Well, the ones I wanted to take off anyway. So, have the footrest decal off because that one always seems to get beat up. Have the 8,000 decals off and the 162 tunnel extension decal off. So now what we're gonna do, is spend just a little bit of time touching up a little couple areas of this sled so I know anything that's broken on it is due to me. And also, since we're here doing this, might as well fill in some of these spare accessory holes with a couple rivets. We'll paint over them. They look uh, just like new. All right, cleaned her up in the back. Looking pretty good now. Took off the stock accessory bag. Got my mountain addiction kit on there. And that is just about the way I like it. So that's just about enough of me talking about it. We should probably fire it up and we can hear how it sounds. She rips, she pulls hard. I finally have my own sled and not a sponsored unit, so I think you can probably expect a lot more broken things this year. There is a couple more things I want to do to it. For example, um, 
Good job. I just gotta find the right frog skin. I'm gonna be drilling a big hole through here. Um, putting a vent in here because what I wanna do is take all this garbage out. Uh, especially this vent here. It was 2013, 2014s that had this. And you can see, it gets melted, rubs on the exhaust. Not happy with the way it's set up. So I'm gonna strip all this stuff out of here. Uh, I might keep the clutch guard, I haven't decided yet. But that's one more thing that's gonna get done to it. But I think that's about it. She's pretty well set up the way I want it right now. I'll go over a few more things in another video about a properly set up sled, because I think that's one of the most underrated things, especially on the mountain sled. Well, I mean, for even for you guys on the trails, it's one of the most underrated things is having a properly set up sled uh, for your riding. So I'm gonna go over that in one of these videos. I'll talk about the rear skid and I'll give you a little bit more information on how I like things and how you can change your sled to better suit your rideability and give you a little more edge in the mountains or on the trails or whatever you're doing. Make your ride a little more comfortable. Thanks everybody for watching. We are at season start for snowmobiling 2017, 2018 ride season. So we'll be out in a couple weeks and hitting it probably almost every weekend. So, hey, maybe we'll even see you out there on the hill. Until then, thanks for subscribing, thanks for leaving a like, and we'll see you all in the mountains. Stay safe. Stopping for the uh, 4 a.m. Kimmy's. We got that now. We actually managed to get all our shit together, and now we're off to Rubber Store right now.